So this is the beginning of our review, 3.4 exponential decay models. For this time, let's review Newton's law of cooling. We did one problem on uh, Monday. Let's do one more. A cup of coffee. This is very realistic uh, idea. A cup of coffee is sitting on a table and the room temperature is 72 degrees. Coffee is hot, 180 degrees. You waited for five minutes and you noticed it's still hot. You check temperature, it's 140 degrees. So you're like, maybe I should wait for 10 minutes instead. Good question. Maybe it's time to drink it in 10 minutes because you cannot handle hot coffee. For example, your tooth hurt or you just had some kind of dentist thing happening and now your teeth are sensitive. Solution. We don't have a model yet. So if I give you this on the exam, you're supposed to not freak out and remember the model. To be honest, I'm tempted to give you the formula on the exam as well. So the formula you're supposed to remember is T of time is A, which is a temperature of the object. In this case, it's coffee. B is the difference between the temperature of the surrounding, which we called, how did we call it? A sub zero, I think. Oh, zero. oh yeah, it was uh, outside, temp it was temperature of your coffee so it's a again minus t sub zero thank you right or vice versa minus yeah 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 let's do that t sub zero which is original or oh yes because it's original t sub zero original temperature of the object minus surrounding which is a oh okay then a is the temperature of the room b is the difference between temperature of the object and the room times exponential function kt that's the one i remember kt is e to the kt is such a standard thing it's around the world modeling literally everything that's why exponential functions are so important so you're supposed to remember this formula but again somehow i attempted just to give it to you to be honest but we'll see i will decide later this week so you should learn how to read the model fast. Let's read 72 degrees room. That is what? A, temperature of the surrounding, right? Then what is the temperature of the coffee? We have two of them. Uh, one is 180 and in five minutes is 140. And that is why K is not given. So we need to use these two data points to find the rate K. The model from whatever we know looks like this. A is 72, that's a room temperature, plus B is 180, that's the original coffee temperature, minus the room temperature again, 72 the difference, E to the KT. Let's simplify, it is 72 plus 108, 108, e to the kt this is my model with not known a k to find k we need to have at least two data points and then we can calculate it well we know that when you plug what was it first a minute five minutes when you plug five minutes so t at five t at five is given as 140 agree let me put it like so, so it will be pretty. T at five, so it's five minutes, was given as 140. The temperature decreased from 180 to 140 in five minutes. Everything else stays the same. 72 plus 108 e to the k multiplied by five. T is now five minutes. So from here, you can calculate and find K because now we have this information and it helped us. So I will do it fast this time. 140 minus 78 is 60. 72 is 68 equals 108 e to the 5 K. Isolate your exponential function. e to the 5 K is 68 over 108. Apply natural log to both sides. It will give you 5k equals natural log of 68 over 108. Finally, k is, and it's always the same answer, log over time. Log 
of this ratio over time. This is the rate you have. Approximately, since 68 is less than 108, log of this number is negative. And that is what we need to have. If you get the wrong K, you know it's exponential decay. The temperature is cooling, decreasing. The coffee is cooling. So it should be negative, which is true. It's approximately minus 0, 0, 0.0925. Looks like a small rate, but actually it's not. Remember, you distract it with TikTok by 10 minutes and your coffee is already cold. It's exactly how fast exponential function is working. So we found our K. Let's rebuild the model. T at T is now officially 72 plus 108. We had this before. E to the KT. K is minus 0, 0, 00925. I like the exact answer more, but too much writing. This is the model we found uh, everything. We found 72, we found B, 108, and we found K. All those are constants. There should be only one variable left, T. T is the only unknown. It's a variable. It's your input. Everything else should be found. So this is your model. And now you can answer all kinds of questions. Question one was saying, what is the temperature in 10 minutes? That's a simple one. Uh, how would you answer that? Just plug 10 minutes. So that's a good one. Uh, nothing extra to do here. Plug 10. 72 plus 108 times e to the minus 0, 0, 0.0925 times 10. And the calculator will tell you that is approximately... Oh, actually, I did not calculate. <laughs> So I don't know. Who knows? Calculator. Anyone? Is it 114.8254? Uh, 100 to? 114. Oh, nice. OK, let's write down. 114. One, one four? Yeah. Thank you. Point what? 0.8254. That is? The temperature of the coffee. So it's 140 degrees. And say it's too hot for you. You're like, eh, still too hot. So I waited for five minutes. In five minutes, it was 140. In 10 minutes, it became 114. And you're like, it's too hot. I don't want to keep guessing. What natural question pops out if you know that you like your coffee be, say, 90 degrees? Question number two asks you, so how long should I wait? When will the coffee reach 90 degrees? That's a very clear question. When you feel ready to drink, you know it should be 90 degrees. So how long should you wait? You can put your timer and leave. How to answer this question then? That is not a simple one. What's the idea? When? What does this when mean? When? Yes? For T. This time T is not known. Exactly. When answers the question, what is your T? We don't know T. So what is your left-hand side? 90. Right-hand side is exactly the same. 108. E to the minus 0, 0, 9, 2, 5 times T. And you're solving for T just like we know how to do it. Solving exponential equation. 90 minus 72 is 18. Can you do it faster? Divide by 108. Do you know what I did? 90 minus 72 over 108 gives you exponential function nicely isolated and ready to have logarithm applied to both sides. That's how you can speed up on a test if you want. But ask me, is it bad or not? 90 minus 72 over 108. Applied logarithm to both sides, ln, ln. Then it will be ln of 18 over 108 equals minus 0, 0, 0.0925t. Because ln undoes e should be minus. So t will be. As always, the logarithm divided by the 
rate minus zero zero nine two five and this is unusual so you like wait so the time will be negative not really because 18 over 108 is less than one again the logarithm at the numerator also will be negative negative over negative gives you positive and the answer is approximately 25.72 minutes of Fahrenheit minutes so it says waiting five minutes not enough waiting 10 minutes not enough finally you start realizing you should not be guessing and you just ask so when the temperature will be perfect and the perfect temperature you wanted was 90 that's the one that you like your coffee to be 90 degrees from the original one which you did not like with the temperature room 72 uh, then it says well wait for 25 minutes at least so wait for 25 and 72 minutes to have your coffee coffee with oh like let's see 90 percent hot hot that's the idea 90 degrees, not 90%. Uh, thank you 90 degrees hot with fixed temperature of the room so don't forget uh, you don't change your ac if you said that your ac is fixed at 72 you keep it like that and that will give you 25 minutes of wait yes uh, maybe yeah let's do 90 then okay i'll trust you i remember some of these notes have a typo so that's what i was last time i was keep mentioning that but i don't remember which no there's a typo somewhere here which one do you say three seven yeah you too? Yeah. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah, some of these notes have typo. That's for last time I was trying to catch it. And then apparently it was this thing. <laughs> so approximately 20 minutes you need to wait. Good job. I'm actually surprised someone is putting effort to check this. <laughs> That's very impressive. I was not a student like that. I never liked calculator, so I would just trust whatever people say. But that's a mathematical mindset. We don't care about the exact, we don't care about result. We like the process. Mathematicians like the process. So I like the process of this question. Yes, right? Yeah. Solution exists and I know how to find it. Who cares what it is? But I love how it now. So practically, you could say a solution exists and have someone else come up with the Questions about Questions about this? Can you do this on a test? So not too bad, right? One more question. That might be hard. Let's see one more question. I will just made it up to review. <coughs> How fast uh, your coffee is cooling? Is cooling? Okay, that's a hard question. How to answer this question? How fast your coffee is cooling? Yes. Take the derivative. All agree? You guys, so noisy today. Don't be too noisy. How fast the coffee is cooling? All right, guess, or it's not a guess, it's a good uh, claim. How fast is the derivative? So I plan to put it in bold for you. Three different questions. So you don't get distracted with too many things in your mind. I will put, what is the temperature? Plug in. When? Solve for T, right? How fast? Find the derivative. So again, as a English, as a second, third, in my case, fourth language, uh, you need to learn how to f read it fast. So that is derivative of t. Don't need, uh, specific ah, I can make it up, but doesn't matter. In this case, no. In uh, asking for a formula here. Yeah, t prime and in general, but usually yes, we ask it to plug in. It's easy to grade this way. And you go back to the very original formula in the box. Here it is. What is derivative of 72? Zero. 108 stays. So I'm copying 108. Times E copied, whatever it is, T. I need to check. T is minus 0 0.0925. Times, so remember, differentiate exponential function copied. Times derivative of the function inside. You will do it right now in the quiz. And on a test next week. Lots of derivatives there and product rule and quotient rule. Again. Times this rate minus zero, zero, nine, two, five. 
And that is your derivative. You can simplify it if you want, or we ask you to, but that's what they're asking. And now, like you said, they can ask you to plug a particular number. How fast the coffee is cooling in 10 minutes? And then you plug 10 into that, and so on. But this is in general formula of the speed of the function, the least exponential function. Make sense? In general, actually, if you want to have this in your notes, in general, t at t, so in general, the Newton's law of cooling tell us the temperature of the object is the surrounding temperature plus the difference b, the difference between temperature of the object at the moment minus the surrounding, which is room, e to the kt, where everything is a constant here except t. So if you want to find a general formula of the speed of the cooling of that object, a gives you zero, b stays because it's a constant, k comes down, e to the kt. That's exactly what we just did. That is a general differentiation of the general formula. That's what we just did, compare, general, general, here, in general, yes, general case. It's exactly what we just did. A got killed because it's a constant, B survives, uh, the rate goes down, Come copy the exponential function. Questions, not too bad. Can you do all these questions in the test? Those are really nice A, B, C, D questions. So I would see it more like as the multiple choice and I give you different answers and you have to choose between this, maybe 20, like minus five. I think it's doable, but you need to practice not to freak out also. Let's see, uh, 10, let's do the quiz because quiz actually, this quiz is gold and good. These problems, I plan to put them on a test. They're amazing. And then we're gonna do more review on Friday and I will show you what else is amazing as well.